We come out to Piedmont Park every summer to do outreach work with some camps that are here, um, the EnviroVentures camp that they have here. And what we do is we show the, the campers here what's in the pond. So we have them first try to guess what's in the pond and then they collect plankton toes and they look in their samples and they try to identify as many different things that they see in their animals and plants. Um, and then we also show them some other ways we sample the pond, so they measure how clear the water is, how deep the water is, and things like that. My favorite part is when we throw the thing out there and we see how much water we can carry. We actually, we find it really fun, and so um, so part of why we do it is, is I think it's really important to, to do outreach work, to introduce young kids in particular to science. Research has shown that if you can really draw them in at this age, you can really capture them and keep them interested in science longer term. So that's part of it, but like I said, it's also, it's a lot of fun. So we're finding plankton, and we're trying to find plankton. Like, uh, I've never seen plankton in, in my, like that in my life before. We work on um, a lot of different aspects of zooplankton, and so zooplankton is the term for the very small animals that float in the water. Um, and some of what we've done here is we've looked at very small plankton that are called daphnia, which are water fleas, and also rotifers. And some of what we've, we're interested in is why the populations increase or decrease when they do, why they get as big as they do or as small as they do. Mary Morlins is the education um, programs manager at the park, and she said she gets really positive feedback from the, the parents. And I guess some of this, the campers who are here this year, we're here last year, and I guess they spent the whole day talking about how they're gonna meet real scientists, and then that enthusiasm carries over when they go home, they tell their parents that they met scientists from Georgia Tech, and so then um, it sounds like they ha everyone has a great time, which of course we think is great.